But yeah, um, on their way out, Nathan, on the way to the bakery, is going to explain exactly what that helmet does to Leo, and, Leo. and how it how it should probably cost a lot more than that. And Leo just looks unimpressed at Nathan and goes, "And you ruined any chance we had of haggling with him." He didn't know, he clearly didn't know what it was if it's that important. And you just went wide eyed gushing over it completely. I'm surprised he didn't suddenly shoot the price up, to be honest. I'm sorry? <sighs> Sheepish smile. It would have just been simpler if. Well, it would have been, been better if you had more of a straight face when you were talking to him about it. Don't ever play poker with anyone. But I don't. Keep it that way. I'm very happy he's lost. Yeah, gonna go pick up some honey cakes from the bakery and just like come straight back to the inn because the rest of the party needs to know about this and possibly argue who gets to have it. It's a hell of an item if you've got a scythe user in the party. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah. You can make it back, of course, without issue. Meanwhile, though, while all of this is going on, so I'll remove all these people from here. We're all outside at the moment. We gone. Poof. Gone. Oh, you're at the bottom of the map. Dead now. Don't don't exist anymore. And the anymore. has been resting from, of course, taking the late shift. Okay, if you've been keeping watch of the boy. Yep. And it's only a couple of seconds while you're. Uh, Kind of distracted, perhaps conjuring an object or something similar. As Cave tends to do when she's bored. Uh, Cave right now is practicing making sure she can maintain concentration on things without having her full mind dedicated to it. So she has like a uh, silent image running while she's trying to read. So she's trying to do two things at once. And so she's trying to be practicing that. So yeah, she is thoroughly distracted. <laughs> I'm sitting there then, reading. You peer up from your book. Everything's fine. You can look back down again. Because there's a nice desk here as well, you can see it's like a little flight. Yeah. It's perfect for you to just sit down and read. Oh, she's sitting on the desk and her feet are on the chair. And she's leaning against the wall. So, of course she is. Yeah. But then, the next time you look up, which, you know, is only like a minute or two later, <clears throat> you realize you're being stared at. Oh, wow, yeah, those eyes are distinctly red. Uh, hi. In the bed is the same boy which the others have been tending to and had been rescued. Human, with slightly pointed ears, reminiscent of, well, the Hellenic distant elven relations. Though he himself, of course, is effectively a pure blood human, as all of them are at this point. The this attempt at a star style dark hair, and dressed in the spare clothes of Leo, just so he had something to wear. Though it's certainly not suitable for weather like this. But the first thing that does strike you when he stares at you is on his freckled face. They're not red, but they are a kind of bright amber pair of eyes that kind of shine at you. Not quite, sh not literally shining, but you imagine they could if a bright enough light hit them. Ah, well, welcome to Awakeness. And Q screaming. No. He just kind of looks to the left, looks to the right. Um, I will have you know that the people who were chasing you are uh, apprehended and dealt with. Uh, we kind of found you on the side of the road. Chasing me? Yeah. Not us. Uh, where am I? In a room, in a tavern, in a town. I forgot the name of the town because I didn't bother to remember it. <laughs> that really sounds like something Kate would do as well. <laughs> did you change my clothes? Yeah, we did. You were kind of a mess. You dove into a river trying to escape your pursuers, and they got all torn up. It? Hmm. You looked really confused. Um, I remember any of that. Really? Okay. Uh, do you... Are you the kind who likes all the information up front, or would you like me to spread it out a bit? Um, 
He shrugs. Whatever you want to do. Okay, up front then. Um, you were pursued by a group of mercenaries being chased through the woods, and they were off for, after your life. Uh, the person you were traveling with was slain, unfortunately, and you managed to escape your pursuers. Uh, to escape your pursuers, you dove into a river, which you tumbled down for the next uh, probably hour and a half-ish, uh, clam clambered out, tore your shirt, clambered into a small room that you could take a rest in. Uh, it seems like you didn't throw off your pursuers too well, as they found you and they were prying open your door to get to you as you were bleeding out, but you managed to stabilize yourself. We found them trying to rob a house. We uh, apprehended them, but it turns out they were not robbing it. They, they were simply going after you, which then we found you, stabilized you, brought you back to health, and now we keep keeping you within a tavern called the Dry Ink Pot. Um, we're kind of I was kind of on watch to make sure when you woke up, you didn't freak out. And, well, I'm quite pleased you didn't freak out, because then that would be bad. And I don't want to, you know, try to apprehend you, because I don't want you to hurt yourself. And because, yeah, we're kind of trying to figure out why these bandits were pursuing you, because we're also mercenaries trying to figure out the, why the bandit problem in this town is happening. And you seem to be per connected to that in some way? You say so. Yeah. No, you I took that well. That I've been chased. You see, it seems like you kind of runs through the entire thing quickly in his head. I'm just retelling everything you said word for word. Oh, um, do you remember traveling with anybody? He pauses. I don't remember much of anything. Interesting. Okay. Uh, does this look familiar to you? Case is going to adjust her silent image spell to form the picture of a person who was dead however not with any stab wounds but with a notable clothing and the tattoo she looks familiar she was the one who was traveling with you and then unfortunately killed i don't know who she was uh well from what we can tell she was part of a necromancy club at the arcane university to the north of here uh not the like raise dead necromancy but the more uh deal with undead sort uh, rather higher up, probably was a professor of some kind. Sorry, none of this means anything to me. That's very strange. Well, you see, I have to seem to have some kind of amnesia. That's Someone not ideal. Uh, we didn't see any head wounds on you, particularly. Uh, if you don't mind, um, Kate is going to cast Detect Magic. Detect Magic. And you get a reading of absolutely nothing. Well, you're not under any form of mental effect at the moment. Now, I, I do have to ask, due to certain other things going on, is that no magic, or is that a void of magic? Well, magic can't tell the difference between the two. It's not really strong enough to know. Hmm. It can only really tell rather strong auras, so... Hmm. Well, I'm not familiar with any kind of memory-altering magics that would wipe out a full what was a day for you of pursuit. And as far as I'm aware, no one was interacting with you before we found you. So I doubt it is magic unless you had some form of ongoing effect. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, my name is Kaith. Kaith Trilamore pleasure. It's nice to meet you. My name's... He pauses. No, right? It's... No. Not Cop... No, it's not Plain. What? Blaze? I think it's Blaze. Interesting name. I think. We can go with it. It feels right, at least. Blaze, Blake, Blaine... One I'll, of stick them. With, I'll stick with Blaze for the moment, I think. That sounds fine. If you're curious, we have also made a few other observations. Judging by the fact that you have amnesia. Sorry, have you got anything to eat? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, okay, we'll go into her uh, breakfast, which she kind of half ate, but, you know, and pass it over to Blaze. Uh, she'll wave her hand over it to press the digitation to make it warm again. Here you go. Yep. And start. Uh... Tying down on it. 
If you would like any more observations, we also noted the fact that you seem to be uh, rather talented in the terms of conducting magic. I'm not sure what that could be entailing, but I... Oof, I have no idea. We seem to have a very interesting interaction with magical items. I don't know if that rings any bells. Kind of a long pause. Mm. Nothing's really coming to me, sorry. No, it's all good. I don't... <sighs> It's fine. Honestly, I was hoping you would know more, but our main goal isn't really to interrogate you. Our goal is to deal with the bandit problem. And if we can get them to stop pursuing you, or if they're pursuing something else other than you that you might be related to, then you're actually your lack of memory is a beneficial thing. It means they can't, you know, get the information they want out of you, I guess. We left Kef to reassure him, and this is how she's doing it. <laughs> well, it's kind of working. He's not screaming. The bar is so low. It, I like really he's more confused. Yeah. Um, all you need to know for right now is you're safe. Uh, a few of my friends are out exploring the town, getting information. Um, anything else you need other than food? I feel like I need a lot more information, but they don't know about what. Oof, yeah, well, I've tried to give you everything that I know. Um, judging by the fact that the person you were traveling with was from the university to the north, we could try to travel there and see if there's any more information, if you would be so inclined. Just for a moment. Oh, um, the, the university to the north looks like... Uh, she just the, the silent image to look like the tower. I figured I can keep doing this for you. Uh, you know, maybe help fill in blanks. Thanks. Eh, well, let me know if it helps. Figure out. It is, yes. I'm, I'm, and currently we're in no rush. Downstairs, you can hear the rather distinctly loud noise of probably just Leo being happy to get out of the ring. Oh, it sounds like my friends are back. Kind of overturning, and thankfully, it looks like the two, looks like the two people on watch have finally woken up. And, of course, they would wake up everybody else in the tavern. That's, uh, well... It's on this heavily stormy morning. Perhaps it's time for Team PC to actually to meet up. Mm-hmm. Let's move everyone's tokens over to one of the seating areas. Shady back corner? Shady back corner. Shady back corner. Of course. We're here to get the quest. So we be fair, the only other one that can hold us all. Kate will go into the back corner, pull her hood over her head, and wave her hand and make a pipe. And smoke sort of billows out from. Okay. She's, she's. Yeah. Would you have you asked Blaze to stay upstairs? Ah. Uh, one moment. Hmm. Give me a moment here. Maybe we should go upstairs. Hoping from last night, I've actually seen him. So. Yeah, we should probably take this upstairs, guys. I'm. A... Hi. Yes. Um. Our guest is awake. We barely heard you anything. I barely said anything. Okay. Ah, well, our guest is awake. We should probably go greet him. The room's a bit cramped, but uh, I can't really think of any other options. I mean, can you help Ivan? Oh, I suppose I can, like, leave you guys down here and Kaith waves her hand. One, two, three, four, five. I was thinking, Miss, you know, Mistress of Illusion. Can you just make him not look like him? It's a little bit more complicated. Okay, yes, I can. What do All we right. pay you for? You pay... <laughs> okay, oh, please. Yeah. This is going to be a little bit awkward, but I suppose you can. we can make this work. Um, if you mind standing up for me, please. All right. And Keith is going to move the silent image over top of him as a much larger form person. Um, <laughs> and this is going to take a lot of concentration from Keith. But she's going to try to match his movements, so he's just, like, within the shell of a person. So what might be better, then, is for the group to borrow uh, one of the reading rooms. Yeah. One of the major like rooms. It tend to be a little bit more private. Kind of like the fat side, don't we? Yeah, but it's going to be nearly impossible for Cave to keep that up. <laughs> Once you're sitting, it'd be easier, but when you're walking, ah, not great. I can do it with myself, barely. Do one of the reading rooms. 
Oh, well, this is lovely. Why didn't we just go with this before? Leo claims a whole bench to lounge over. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the mages usually fill this up, but they're not here at the moment, so... As to the others, they will... I suppose whip... Um, they will also get to... Uh... So yeah, he's up on his feet. Once the illusion breaks. Oh, that was complicated. Well, everybody, meet Blaze. The short, man, <laughs> young man, the short man, young man, just kind of looks around at all of you, confused. He's an amnesiac. Oh, lovely. I guess that head wound was worse than we thought. A little bit. Yeah, I was wondering if anyone had anything for that, because I don't. Just to cut things short, uh, if you're trying to remember any of us, don't bother, you don't know us. That... I don't believe that will be necessary. Besides, we're trying to do... Awesome. Trying to what? Trying to protect him and all that. He seems to be related to the banditry issue, so we need to be at least keep on top of things. I guess it's nice to meet you all. Yep, it's a pleasure to meet you too. Uh, this is Michaela, uh, Nathan, Rain, Leo, and Ryder. Don't worry if you get Rain and Ryder mixed up. You, everyone does. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, waves. He looks back and forth between the two twins. The best way that people have remembered it is that Ryder is a big name and he's a big person. Rain's smaller and thus has a smaller name. Sure. Plus, once we actually start talking, you can probably tell. Or you can go, hey, that guy over there. Yo, dude. Yeah, they look the same, but they have different ways of talking. We also, you know, are not exactly wearing the same clothes. That True. too. I have fancy gloves. Congratulations. I mean, Ryder is just decked out in metal. I'm probably not right now. That's fair. Usually, well, he, does, does, he, he does have a sword as hip. <sighs> but to get back on topic, um. Michaela, I can't think of anything. Would you happen to know anything about memory restoration? Uh, Derek, would be the knowledge skill? Wow, you sound I mean... so much louder and clearer than normal. <laughs> I, have a, I have a new headset. I, I actually have to turn you down. It's impressive. Yeah, I, mean, you down as <laughs> I mean, you can... It's... Mm. Memory restoration is a bit of an awkward one. Uh... Ooh. One second. Honestly, that's more a heal check. That's what works. Um, I don't suppose anyone here is capable of eating on heal checks. <laughs> no. I mean, technically, Michaela can pray for her own success. It's true. Please, Lord, let me remember this. <laughs> In the name of all that is holy, do not fuck up. You know, I, I went for a social day today. I'll, I'll burn a, a spell slot for this, for, for my favorite spell, unsurprisingly. Using, using Bestow Insight. It's a good spell. 35. Well, memory restoration is not particularly an easy thing to do. There aren't a whole lot of ways of doing it, to be honest. Magically or not. Um, the spell Modify Memory can be used to restore memories, but it's such a niche spell that almost no one knows it. <coughs> Bards! <coughs> um, which does make it a difficult spell to just kind of get a hold of. Alternatively, um, proficient psychics are capable of sometimes restoring memory through a method of auto-hypnosis, or, or just actual regular hypnosis, depending on the method. But once again, it's not a criteria your group meets. Or the average town meets either. Other than that, there isn't a lot other than, well, perhaps. I mean, it's possible certain things can jog memories, uh, locations, objects, stuff like that. But... Hey, Nathan. There's, 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 no, there's no quick go to. Uh huh. I don't suppose you've been talking with Cadme at all. About. Uh, she said something, something weird about you being special and seeing things that other people can, blah, 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 blah. She was really rambly about it. I don't really know, but she seemed to want to hang out with you and teach you something. 
She doesn't make a lot of sense at the best of times. You're right. But I don't suppose you took her up on the offer? I mean, she tried, but it was kind of... It was kind of a lot of focus and meditation and something about it it was hard to understand she's talking a lot of ah well that's fair well i guess if we wanted to join with it magically the best bet might be to go to the college and see if anyone can help with that and if he was working with someone from the college they might just recognize him at least we can turn in a missing persons f- location that too well, it seems like seems like that's a plan. Are you here for bandits? Uh, we can defeat bandits. That's not much of an issue. Um, the problem is, if we don't deal with the problem that's causing the bandits, then the bandits will keep coming. Every time there's a banditry issue, it's more of a failure of public resources than really a... or public policy than... Yeah, we don't need to bore him with going into all of those details right now. That's fair. Also, uh, yeah, I talked to Nicola. The, he either pulls out the map tube and kind of shifts stuff out of way on the table to roll it out. It's up. <laughs> Can some, look, let me just he Got it. Of the, thanks. Okay. Nicol- Nicola said they think they're somewhere up here, a bit away from town as he points to the... Was it the hills, I think it was? Yeah, the forest and hillands. The issue is they know they have alchemists, they know they have mages, and they're pretty sure that they're being, you know, mercenaries running up with a group. So, uh, I might have been able to find out that the guild is worried that people are financing them for some reason, which... We you, know you they know, are. Yeah. The problem with that is we're now very well. We both have to deal with them, but we're also presumably their main target. And with the money being thrown around here, they probably will outclass us in terms of straight on fight. Yes, I'm aware of that. Something, something, five digits, something, something. Kate puts her hand on her material components pouch, Corel, and looks at Blaze. There's no look of recognition from him. Okay. Yeah, we saw we got a name drop of Corel, which is nice. So we can at least try to figure that out. I think the main issue here is we're going to be watching in on who's moving in and out of this place, including us. So if we, I mean, we could try and sneak plays away, but did they have g- any theories on who might be financing them? Well, again, we have. The we we have a name, name yes, but a name doesn't give us much. I was wondering if they had any more information than just a name. No, all they know is, or all they are guessing is that someone's financing them. Uh, also, apparently, one of the local mines has dried up for iron, iron, iron mine. Yeah, so you know, coal miners are happy. Iron miners not quite. No, oh, I'm guessing that a lot of them. I could be spawning up the uh, local banditry issue. Probably, yeah. Well, who knows, maybe there's something more to look into there. Mm. Oh, by the way, Kate. Oh, hey, yeah. Nathan reaches into his bag and hands you the scroll and scribing supplies. Sweet. Also, they had a, um, a tiara of vast intellect. Truly, my intellect is already vast. Could be vaster. It's been improved already. But if you put that on, then your head will grow too big for it. I have a headband of vast intellect. It's I just, you know, I keep it under my hair. Carrie pulls up her bangs and she sees a little silver uh, <laughs> gem. Used to her scalp. <laughs> it's a bit showy, so I don't show it all the time. It doesn't really match the rest of my outfit. Is that the wrong color for it? Yeah. yeah there, there was another thing that Nathan was practically drooling over. Some cyclops skull thing cyclops ooh yeah yeah the helmet um i mean i was gonna save this for later but since you brought it up leo um 
everyone's the here helm, might as well. The helm of the Cyclops. Um, it it allows you to to tell multiple futures at the same time, and choose. And with that information, you can choose the absolute best course of action. Ah. You could. It's hard to explain, but it'd be like, like in your mind, attempting something in a hundred different ways and being able to choose the one that gives you the results you want. Cyclops magic is powerful, but it tends to come with strings attached. This string is about 6,000 gold. Big string. Well, it's something to keep in mind. I... I mean, if we all pooled our money together, we could probably do it, but... Leo, I know you're trying to save up as best you can. I mean, it's fine. Whatever. I have money. <sighs> we can think about it, but... Uh, Dark. Yeah? Can I, get can, I get... can I make a knowledge check on Cyclops' divination magic? Michaela's also going to speak up and mention that if there's anything wrong with it, it's most likely that it probably is going to make you very hungry. Just kind of a hunch of her own that she's uh, making a very solid assumption on. But you can roll on Cyclops magic. That is a thing you can do. Arcana? Sure. 26. If Cyclops' magic is unique in some regards it's it veers away from what you would consider normal arcane and divine and becomes far closer to not psychic but occult their magic is eldritch it doesn't conform to the schools of magic developed thousands of years ago that are still practiced today all of it is very hard to document and very hard to really understand it's the kind of things that would give mad seers um a true dose of madness. But Cyclops magic is known for being scarily capable of seeing the future. Cyclops oracles being, while well, mythic figures, whenever they are encountered, you never doubt their premonitions. Their eyes themselves, I suppose, the my eyes themselves more powerful than any crystal ball. Uh, I don't doubt that this thing exists, but I would be careful, Nathan. These things are powerful and occult, and one of the main reasons why they're so angry is because they can see the future and can't do anything to change it. It quite often makes them very furious and quite difficult to deal with. I worry that there are going to be some interesting side effects to this helm, though I don't doubt your ability to, you know, use such a magic item. I Seems like right up your alley, honestly. Mm, I was more thinking we could just use it for whenever we have something really important to do. Whenever we have something that just needs to go right. It happens with us sometimes, you know? It does. Well, I'm not opposed to the idea. It does kind of look like a skull, though. That so would look a bit strange little... for us to carry around. Because there's a skull big enough that you can put your, own, your whole head into it, so that's always fun. As Michaela goes off on her uh, rambling, as usual. <laughs> uh, vast a white noise generator. Yeah, it's about what I kind of expected from the way that I was kind of read about the magic. It It seems to be as much of a it's certainly a blessing, but it also, you know, can't be used flagrantly. I mean, it's a magic shop in the middle of nowhere. It's probably there for a reason. Oh yeah, someone probably pawned it off to him. I don't... Uh, judging from Leo's disposition, you did kind of fawn over it, didn't you? He did. He was practically drooling. <sighs> well... Let's go talk to him. I want to check it over again, make sure that it's not, like, cursed or anything. But then, yeah, I think I'm game for it. Could also, you know, deal with this situation first, and if the town's still here by the end of it, we can just buy it then. That's fair, yeah. too. 
Or yeah, use cloud but... of like, hey, we've done some things for you, done good things for you, and you paid us, but hey, you can give us a little discount too. Do we know how much we're supposed to be getting paid for it? Oh, actually, they have a lot of have valuable stuff with them. We could probably totally buy it with all the shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I think our main issue now is, um, no offense, Blaze, you kind of stand out. Do I? Uh, I think it's mostly because you don't have shoes right now. What, at the end of the room? Yeah, we don't have spare shoes. That's the issue. You lost yours in the river, probably. Yeah. We do kind of need to get you stuff, but we also don't want you to be seen around here. Do we... I mean, I sure. guess... I can, I, can, I can do something. Uh, Kate says she dissipates her um, pipe and uh, claps her hands together and pulls them apart in a new pair of boots form. Remember, your power has... Your things don't last very... Uh, I guess... Actually. They last for as long as there's only one thing. That's technically true. Can you make a pair of shoes, or can you only make one shoe? Oh. Technically, a shoe. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There, like, one starts to exist, and then kind of... fumbles. Never mind! Have a trouble uh... with the other foot? <sighs> well done, Cinderella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, very much better, because they're also as fragile as a glass. Look, okay. If you want boots, I can give them to you, but you have to keep the laces tied together between them. Don't think, think... that's going to be an easy way of walking. I didn't mm -hmm. say it would be ideal. It's I'm just saying what my current limitations are. I think we just have to buy him a pair of goddamn shoes, yeah, and I'll worst go, case, go it's go gonna be a bit disappointing. All right, all right, go buy fucking boots. God, I'll be able damn. to get ones that fit you properly, but we'll get you close as. Okay. Yeah, here. Uh, here, try mine on. Okay. It might be about the same size. Yeah. I mean, you could just make him a bloke so that he's not easy to spot, and you know. We could just take him to a clothers. Yeah, I suppose. Case reaches over to the boot she made, pulls out the the boot string of it, and then shakes it out, and it unfurls into a cloak. I was half expecting you to say you reach into the boot, pull out a cloak from inside. No, nope. she stretched out the uh, string. There you go. Here, wear this. It'll at least keep people away from seeing your face. And honestly, I think he's a little bit more either Leo or Nathan sized. That's definitely the case. Blaze is not the tallest man, and Leo doesn't really have any more to spare. He's already wearing. He's already. He's already wearing busy, busy, you know, like beach clothing in the middle of a rainstorm. He's going to be. <laughs> he's wearing shorts and like a shirt. Fucks given zero. You guys rolled the weather this morning. You rolled three sixes and a four. Basically, what you end up what you end up rolling is prolonged rain for eighteen hours. Oh, great! We'll be here a while, folks. Mm. And this is why I gave myself extra constitution and saves. I don't want to get sick. <laughs> the group can certainly, if they need to, basically buy things though for blaze. That's not a difficulty. The group has some money. Uh, like you know, you certainly have more than enough that buying for just especially for just one person kicking out in just basic stuff. Not difficult. The question is, so of course clothing, which is fine, and you know that's fine. And I presume what basic tra basic traveler quality is that what we're going for? We're we going for yep. flyer quality. What are we talking? It's got a uh, traveler quality. Yeah, I think fancy. He's yeah, decently good. I think that at least you guys would be willing to wear. That's what I'm hearing then. Yeah. Okay. And the question is, is there anything? else or is it just clothing for him you want we should probably get some like i don't know do any of us actually have a disguise kit yes oh okay i do shows i mean yeah but like i don't want you have i'm on your i'm on your yeah. back i thought you'd just you know magic yourself up and disguise every time you... magic is sure it, it's magic is powerful but it's also the spice of life and you can't make a dish out of pure spice I mean, I don't know. If, not a very remember, good dish. But it is a dish. I exactly. remember Amaya saying she ate something when she went south to the desert lands. I think she said it was 
Hold still. So we can worry about you wearing makeup later. As you Actually, didn't you augment almost the kill us? Or was she exaggerating? Probably exaggeration. Slow it down. Okay, if you're able to do some um, manipulation of his appearance. It's not necessarily a lot, but with a bit of restyling with a bit of restyling his hair to help try and cover up the pointed bits to his ears. Um, a little bit of make a little bit of makeup, padding out underneath his clothing a little bit so he so his beard just changes slightly. Yeah, and let's let's fill in those cheeks a bit so you don't look as gaunt. There we go. You did lose a lot of blood, and you're looking a bit pale still. You can make changes. Um, it will hold up to basic scrutiny at least, but prolonged scrutiny, you know, it is possible someone could try to see through it. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's also a media issue of him being recognized. Yep. However, uh, I would say daylight's wasting, but, you know, kind of storming like crazy out there. Mm -hmm. And we could go, but it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck. Let's go. Really? Uh, are your disguises are waterproof? Yes, they of course are waterproof. I need a drink and makeup after all. Yeah, but there's a difference between having a little drink and having half an ocean dropped on your head. That's why he's wearing a cloak. And now a real one. How big of an umbrella can you make, Cave? Um, probably enough for me and Blaze. Third person, but that's about it. You mean you can't fit the entire party under your umbrella? God. That umbrella would be yeah, mighty what, unwieldy. Yeah, what do we even pay you for? Jeez. <laughs> At that point, you'd probably be more likely to be blown what away if... than you would stop. I, I, mean, I mean, I kind of do like the idea of doing a full-size, like, uh, you know, like those umbrellas you put over, like, a table out when it's, like, you know, to help protect the yeah. rain. Oh, yeah, big old parasol. Like, ten foot by ten foot with umbrella going. Wait, okay, okay what, what if you just you made, like, a big old tarp, and we had a person on each corner of it. It's on the corner storming, of it, like, wouldn't they? Like crazy. Oh, I mean, if we held it strength. low. It's... Yeah, but then we couldn't see. I'm not going to make a big old sail for us to be carried away in the wind with. Yeah, and besides, point, it's not that strong. It's stuff I make isn't that strong. They are. Still technically illusions. If you the wind pulls on it too hard, it will shatter. Mm. Yeah. Work on that. I am. Good. It's only said <sighs> fairly recently that I've learned to pull things out of the mm, plane of shadows. Essie has been quite insightful. And Shiva. You're enjoying this creepy. She is creepy. Well, I still get really, the feeling really she's doing it on. I still get the feeling she's doing it on purpose. Kind of like how you put on a show, Keith. Oh, she is. Yeah, and it's working. Huh. But we should go. Kate says she stands up and takes... Uh, and then pushes back her chair in. You're gonna have to give me five minutes like, to put armor on. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You're up for war. Hey, you're the one who wants to go in the middle of this. We have things to do. And as much as I hate travel, I'd rather get it done. True. We have to get it done, like, early. At least we can find out where they are. They're probably not doing much if it's raining, but considering it's raining this hard. That's also true. They're probably in one place, so easier to look for them. Uh, but was warned there's a lot of traps in the forest. We should take our time. I don't think we should set about fighting them today. We should find them, make sure we have our route there that's safe, and then probably come back. Okay. Uh, also... Raider looks at Blaze. Are we just leaving them here? No, we have to take them with. We have to go to the the Magic University. Oh, we're going there? Yeah, Wait. that was my plan. I mean, that's, no, I mean, that's like, didn't... like different to go to in one day. Wait, like, didn't... Man, that's, that's like a... It's, a few, it's like a week or two. Or two that together. sounds like a bad idea. Also, isn't it on the other side of the wall that like keeps away the evil people? Yeah, that too. It's not pure evil people. Weren't they? Also, it, Wait. the biggest problem is it's a weak travel. Uh, guys? What? Yeah. Weren't they trying to escape the university? No, they we were don't from know. the university. Maybe. We don't I mean, know. They, were, they were traveling in the direction away from it. 
Yeah, but people going towards the university. People travel well, like, away from things for lots of reason. Doesn't mean they're yeah. trying to escape. I mean, is there out of character? Do we know if there's like this is like the main route towards that place from like like is this town like you know there's, there's, a way stop stop in there? Yeah, there's a really common way stop people use, which is why there are so many college majors here. In which case, it sounds like the case is yeah, they were trying to flee the university. They knew they'd likely head through here. That's why they've been stopping all travel in and out from this region. Stop all the carts, make sure they aren't hitching a ride to get away faster. Set up traps in the forest so that if we try and make it through, we'll fall into them. Alright, uh, we can deal with the... <sighs> Alright, what are we doing then? Looking for bandits. Okay. And maybe like... I I don't think the I bandits... I want to take him with us. I don't think the bandits are a problem anymore. Yeah, but the bandits are a key to our problem. Yeah. We don't... And it we kind just of got literally here. Like, there, is our problem. About it. It's literally what we came here, down here to deal with. Yeah, that too. We kind of got hired to do that. But the big thing is that... And then, we don't really know much about this place other than... Like, we just got here. The person we know who's from near here... Who could help us... Has lost his memory... So we kind of need to both gather information and work on what we've been here to work on. Yeah, and if we try and run, uh, we're going to have a lot of people following us. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, plus then we're like, then we've given up a contract by Mercenary Guild. And we, uh, they'll get upset and annoyed. It's uh. So yeah, yeah, I think we should stay around here, do stuff around town, look for bandits, that sort of thing. And plus, any any help that we do with the town, the town might be able to help us with this. Okay. Still doesn't answer what we're doing with him, though. If we're going out looking for bandits and, bandits and stuff, we're not exactly going to be taking him into their camp or anything. No. Should we maybe just try and find somewhere safe in the woods we can, I don't know, set up, a, set up camp rather than stay here? Wouldn't it be better just to keep him in the tavern? Yeah, I feel like it'd be better to keep him here because we're in the middle of town. I feel like we'll worry if someone recognizes why he's here and, you know, takes him away away. If someone recognizes his, recognizes him here and tries to take him away, a huge fuss is kicked up and we have a lead. If he's out in the forest and someone gets wind that he's out there, or spots him, or he falls into a trap, then he's alone and fucked. The more yeah. important thing is that he's here and the guard are here to protect him. Yeah, that that's another thing. If any known bandits come into town, they're not going to have a good time here. If you want my personal opinion, I think we are coming at this to a bit of a bit too far head on. If you want my opinion where we should go, I believe we should be going to the iron mine. Why the oh. iron mine? Yeah, why? Because the, everyone there who could be still working has just been laid off, and they probably, the ones who are about to be laid off, are still working there, and thus are looking for new job opportunities. So maybe recruiter is around there for the bandits. Or maybe even the bandits are using it as a place to work out of, actually. Yeah, that's also a good point. Another Either way, factor is dry. I like this plan. That's a good plan. Um, either way, we'll find a little bit more information. If they're not around there currently, I'm sure someone stopped by there and one of the miners will know something. Art. There we go. And I'll give Blaze the option. Do you want to come with us or are you going to stay here? Of course, have logs, right? You can just yeah. I don't know, sit here and read. Just for a moment. I think I'd rather see what's going on outside. But he looks confused still. All right, you can come with. The iron mine itself shouldn't be a hot spot of uh, bandit activity, but it should be at least known. Plus, um, and we... your disguise is good enough. And if you wanted to go out without being seen, in the middle of a rainstorm's probably the best time for it. No it's one's true. going to be out, and those that are out aren't going to be looking at anyone else. Eyes will be straight on the ground with their hood over their face. We should you... probably get him a couple of simple weapons to defend himself with then rain sure i'm sure you have like a sidearm right uh kind of have do i even have a I'm, 
I mean, when it comes like some with multiple of you would have to just like daggers and stuff lying around or stuff. Like here, that. yeah, I've just got daggers and stuff, but Blaze, uh, here's a light crossbow. As you, we, yes, we've seen out of character. We've seen that his aim is so good. Eh. A light crossbow. It says to, for a brief moment, as if you thought he was confused, and then proceeds just to load it. Good. That's a good oh. sign, right? Yeah, uh, muscle, mem no, muscle memory. Muscle memory is good. 